as well, too. Uh, in terms of the game, I just felt like we played very hard in the game, and, and we missed a lot of shots in the game, and that's a confidence thing right now. We had some great looks, and when the ball's going in, it improves your defense. Uh, it makes it better. Uh, the bench is better. Uh, it makes the energy better in the game. It gives confidence to other players. The coaches feel better. It helps everything when the ball is going in. And unfortunately, uh, it wasn't going in today, and that was the big reason I felt like uh, we didn't get a chance to really uh, close out the game the way we wanted to and everything. Uh, Arizona played hard in the game. We played hard in the game. Uh, they knocked down shots. We did not make shots. And then we had to foul a little bit, and they did a good job of taking care of the free throw line. Uh, where do we go from here? Um, you know, I told my guys, and, and this is a very important time to teach with this group right here, because three weeks ago uh, they were in a great place, and they really weren't. And they've come back here and they've lost something for, for whatever reasons. We don't really need to get in a lot of that in terms of my philosophy on it all. But at the same time, uh, I told them to drown out the noise, and, and that's no disrespect to any of you because you have to do your jobs, and really uh, focus on us and what we need to do because we're not out of whack that much. We really aren't. Uh, it would help to make some, get some confidence. We can make some few shots. I'm anxious to take them on the road, even though we're going into two tough environments for us. That's okay, but I think the road is a great place for teams to grow and come together. And the thing they need to understand uh, as you look around the room and look at young people in that room down there, the fact that they're in that locker room putting it on the line like that, they're already a success story. They just don't realize that yet. Uh, we're just going to go back to work with them starting Monday. Uh, we're going to grind a little bit. Uh, we're going to open some things up in terms of lineups and things like that. Because that but I think there's some things that we can do uh, and really get them together and get them out of here right now is what we need to do. For the win today, you guys would have probably gotten a share of first place. We would have definitely probably had a share, well obviously had a share of first place depending on what happens in the game this evening, but you know, Oregon State was I think, you know, way out of it in a 50-point loss a week or so ago. <laughs> Look at them now, they're, they're planning for a chance of first place, so that's how crazy it is. Washington had just I mean, looked horrible on the road and Look at them, the great they, they blow out Cal, who was picked one. So that's how crazy the league is. So our job is to find ourselves and get back on our game. That's the whole key to this because there's still a lot that can happen for us right now. Right now. With the three straight games under 40%, uh, is shot selection a problem with you at all right now? I thought we were much better in our shot selection day. I, re I really did. I mean, we did a good job of attacking 15-foot jumpers. We didn't shoot a lot of threes early on. We had to shoot some of them late in the game, but shot selection was not the problem. Or particularly early in the game, I thought we did a good job of executing what we wanted to do. Get in the lane, shoot 15-footers, pound the boards. I think we had five offensive rebounds, three of them for putbacks in the first half. We knocked down easy shots. We did some things that we wanted to do, probably missed some free throws we shouldn't have missed. But as the game wore on, I mean, you remember the stretch where, shoot, Garrett had three looks, the Kendrick two-point blank layup. All, there was a stretch there that... You know, you can't design a better offense than to give you wide open 15 footers or two foot layups. You just got to make plays and finish plays. And unfortunately, the ball didn't have golf. So you just go back to work and you stand there with them. And hopefully, all of you are hanging there with us as well. Too. As far as individual performances go, Lekendrick, the last few games, said some pretty good games. Um, I guess kind of talk about him. Uh, I, I'm really, really proud of him. And, you know, he, he's going through some things. That, uh, that he has to go through, and it's going to force him to grow, and he is growing through them. But he's come back these last, uh, I'd say, seven or eight days in practice, uh, the last two ball games. And I, I've never seen a guy that plays so hard that he gets cramps because of playing so hard, not necessarily being dehydrated, just playing so hard. And he really, really has battled uh, the last two games. So I'm proud of him for that, and uh, we'll just continue to work with him and hang in there with him. And, uh, you know, he's one of those guys that's becoming a leader just with this effort right now on his team, and that's a good thing for us. You mentioned opening up the lineup. Do you see Tuan staying on the, on the, coming off the bench? You know, um, a lot of that will depend upon what happens over the course of the next three days. You know, uh, he, he has struggled um, in a couple of the last ball games a little bit better in this game. The ball hasn't gone in, but we've all struggled in the last couple of games leading into this game. So. He's one of those guys that can get hot and get rolling and get moving and everything. So he's just got to get back on his game right now. And whether or not we're going to bring him off the bench or not, we'll see. But I, probably not. I, I, I'm more concerned about making sure our confidence, our effort, and all those things are in place when we go back to work on Monday and Tuesday before we get on the road on Wednesday.